there. Hello there. Uh, welcome to Benji James Talks. Today I'm going to be checking out Sean Mullins and his song Lullaby, which I actually know I love that song, but I've never watched him do it live. So I, I thought, what better way to come and react and check him out live? Does he sound as good live as he does on the record? I absolutely love this song, so I'm looking forward to uh, checking him out. Let's go ahead and get straight into the video. I was doing that at first with it, you know? Man, check these harmonics out. This kind of makes me want to learn guitar. And I played this little place in LA. It's already sounding like the record. It's a Chinese like restaurant and a music venue all rolled into one. But can it's that chorus. Everything is gonna. That's what I want to see. It's called Genghis Cohen. And it was the only place I could get a gig out there without having to pay to play. That's just how it, it is out there. You might want to play whiskey a go-go or one of those famous rooms, but you have to. If you don't have the audience that'll pack it out already, you have to pay the promoter and the club owner. And so um, my friend Kelly McCartney, she was living out there. She goes, you need to play Genghis Cohen. That's a cool place. And they'll pass a hat for you. And they'll give you some free Chinese food at the end of the night. The story for this song came very easily. It was probably the second or third time I played Genghis, and uh, I was finally getting where I could pack it out, man, 30 people. And, uh, about my age came up to me and she said I like your stories you know you're do you feel like I don't I don't want to stop too much but it's kind of like um Morgan Freeman with that voice I feel like he could narrate stuff like um yeah just any anything narrate anything with that voice <laughs> just come on I don't know what are your thoughts leave them in the comments I want to know you're a cool storyteller. No one really does that anymore. And I said, yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm very aware of how unhip it is. David Attenborough was the other person I was trying to think of at the time. This is about the time Backstreet Boys and NSYNC were on the radio, you know? But anyway, she uh, she said, hey, do you mind if I tell you a story? I've got a story for you to hear. And I said, sure. That's where I get my songs. Man. So we sat down together and had some Chinese food. And a couple hours later, I had the lyric of this song. Well, she grew up with the children of the stars. In the Hollywood Hills and the Boulevard. Her parents threw big parties, you know, everyone was there. Hung out with folks like Dennis Hopper, Bob Seger, Sonny Ann Cher. She feels safe now in this bar on Fairfax. 
From the stage I can tell she can't let go and she can't relax. Just before she hangs her head to cry, I sing to her a lullaby. I sing ever. Still lives with her mom outside the city. Down that street about a half a mile. And all her friends tell her that she's so pretty. She'd be a whole lot prettier, you know, if she'd smile once in a while. But you know, even her smile, it looks just like a frown. She's seen her share of devils in this angel town. And everything's gonna be alright. Rock a bye. Yes. Rock a bye. said, I ain't so sure about this place. It's hard to play a gig in La La Land and keep a straight face. It seems like everybody's got a plan. It's kind of like Nashville with a tan. Y'all help me out. There you go. rock a Rock-a-bye. Let's try it again. Everything's gonna be alright. Rock-a-bye. Thank you all so much. Woo. Thank you. Anybody else feeling nostalgic? Wow. Man, well, he definitely can hit those notes, that's for sure. <laughs> um, wow. And his guitar playing is just, which, I mean, come on. It's the, the song, I just, I absolutely, what do you call it? I don't think it's a riff, but anyway, my favorite, like, guitar, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Super knowledgeable on this channel, as you can tell. <coughs> yeah, that's one of my favorite acoustic songs. I just, yeah, I absolutely love this song. It never gets old. It's so good. But what I would really love to know, is there 
any other Sean Mullins songs that I should check out or react to um, because I'm not familiar with any of his other stuff because I, literally this was his big hit and yeah, that's it. I, I know he's probably put out more songs and, and all that since back then, but yeah, this was the one hit. <laughs> so yeah, let me know in the comments below. I look forward to checking it out. I really wanted to react to this. I've been um, thinking about it for a while. So yeah, finally done it. Uh, let me know your thoughts and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then.